case sun at it again Hop the back the bed I put that drip on Talking about that work don't hit my iPhone hit my flip phone Shot it bad as hell she might be yellow might be red bone Talking about I made it how you ain't know that I've been on been on Hop the back the bed I put that drip on Talking about that work don't hit my What's up you guys it's your girl the Shay and I'm back with another video um so this video i believe i'm gonna title it um a night with a newborn i don't know something in that aspect what i'm gonna try to do in this video just so you know other new moms or whoever can just see what it's like taking care of a newborn at night is it's nine o'clock now so I'm going to record from 9 o'clock tonight to 9 o'clock in the morning, a full 12 hours, whole half a day. Every time that I have to get up, feed him, change him, of course, I'm not going to show you exactly what I'm doing, but I'm going to kind of like, you know, let y'all get an idea of what it's really like overnight. Um, to be perfectly honest, for the most part, he wakes up about every two hours. You know, with newborns, um, the first couple of weeks, you have to get up every two to three hours to feed them. If they don't wake up on their own, then you're supposed to uh, wake them up and feed them. Um, so I'm still in that stage. Pediatrician said basically that um, at his two week appointment, which is coming up very soon, if he's back at his birth weight or above it, then I can go like two four hour stretches or a six hour stretch. But of course that would be determined on him because if he's crying or if he's wanting to feed before four hours, frankly, I'm gonna have to feed him. I can't let my man just sit there and cry. And I guess while he's feeding, I can um, go ahead and just give y'all a little bit more information on what nights are usually like for us um yeah so not to put too much out there but i kind of i have to handle nights by myself um which is not bad because in the mornings um i tend to just give him to my husband after i feed him he is breastfed so that's the only downside um, I have not started pumping. I know I mentioned before that I wanted to exclusively pump, but I have not started pumping yet. It's a good sign he's getting milk drunk. But I have not started exclusively pumping yet. So, even though I do have those, you know, breaks where dad has him, it's for no more than two hours. So if it's like, oh, it's the daytime and dad has gotten his rest, it's not like I can go lay down for four hours. I still have to get up every two hours to feed him in between. So I try to just like get a good two hour nap when dad first gets home or after he slept for a little bit. And then, you know, I just keep it going throughout the day. Um, you kind of just have to know when they say sleep when your baby sleeps you're going to have to sleep when your baby sleeps. And I'm gonna show you guys because it's so easy. Um, I hate to admit it, I fell asleep breastfeeding. Um, so if there's one tip I can give you guys from that as far as like to ensure safe sleep and not co-sleeping is do something while you're breastfeeding at night to keep you awake, preferably, and don't figure out how to lay down and feed at the same time because you're destined to fall asleep. The first couple nights I could do it and then after that I was waking up like 30 minutes later. Um, thankfully I'm a very light sleeper but that's not something that I want to make a habit of but we're not going to criticize anyone for doing that because as new moms or as moms period when you have a newborn you're tired it's bound to happen um, so that's why you want to make sure if you're really trying to enforce that um, safe sleeping and not close sleeping and you know try to prevent SIDS or whatever that you really really try to stay upright and active when you're feeding so um, that's enough of my rambling. The rest of this video is probably just going to be 
I don't know, I might just do a voiceover and just show you guys um, when I get up and when I have to feed in the diaper change. I may um, also do a little bit of, a, not a tutorial, but show you how I prep for diaper changes because as having a boy and being a first time mom, I've had some pretty shitty situations. <laughs> Sorry for the foul mouth, but yes, I've had some some really nuclear accidents happen. So, um, yeah, I might give y'all some tips on how to prevent those, but even though I, I have safety precautions, they still happen. So I've definitely, I, me, myself and my husband, we've both been pooped on um, and I've been peed on as well. And so I, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of how I prep for diaper changes. Um, just to make it go by a little bit faster because with little boys, you really have to work fast. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me rambling and let's get right into the video. So to prepare for changing his diaper, I go ahead and get some wipes out and ready first. And one of the wipes is to cover up his private part just in case he starts to pee. And then I also get the diaper ready and I set it up under him. And because he's circumcised, you see me with the Vaseline, I go ahead and lather a good amount of Vaseline on the front of the diaper so that way his penis does not stick to the diaper. There goes that wipe I was talking about. All right, so this is the same session and we went straight into a feed. And then the next clip after this is starting the next session.
we are at 12 15 a.m preparing to nurse i had already changed his diaper at this point so this is pretty much it for this portion of the video Here we are at 2.15 a.m. and as you can tell, I am tired. Whoa there, let's slow that back down for a second. So to prevent this from happening, I've learned to slide the wipe into the diaper as I'm opening the diaper before the air can hit. So that's another tip for you guys. Man, look at those bags. Here it is, 4.34 a.m. And as you can tell, I am very thrilled to be waking up at this point. All right, you guys, it is the next morning. Um, so because of being extremely tired, I did miss a diaper change. And then when dad um, was able to, he did the final nine o'clock um, diaper change. And then I just fed him. Um, I, another reason I didn't get footage because at his five o'clock diaper change and um, feeding, he did not go back to sleep until about seven, eight o'clock. Um, I don't know what was up with that. But as you can see, baby boy is extremely hungry right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get him fed. I just changed him. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and then another disclaimer, I did not include the feedings. Um, for the most part, like I said, except for his five o'clock feeding immediately after I fed him, which each feeding was about 15 minutes, he went straight to sleep. Um, but by five o'clock, I guess he said I'm over it. But yeah. It gave me a hard time this morning. Um, but yeah, it's your girl Deshay. And make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Time out. K-Sun at it again. Hopped up at the bed. I put that drip on.